He's wearing white, so he looks like a little angel. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, hi. Oh my God, stop it. He <laughs> is the cutest. Oh hi. God. This is your first Zoom. <laughs> I mean, what was it like holding him for the very first time? Oh my gosh. I was petrified. Yeah. I was literally petrified. Yeah, for the first, I, the I had to sit down. Skin. I did the skin on skin. I just, I didn't want to break him. I just had this thing. I was like, oh my God, I'm going to break him. He's so delicate. But then when you see the nurses come in, and they manhandle your child or whatever. And you're like, oh my God, what are you doing? <laughs> like they're professionals. They do it like a hundred times a day. And yeah, they know. But I was just so scared. I just had this like, I thought I was going to drop them. So I was like, every time I held them, I'm like, okay, I'm ready to hold them. It was like a big deal. So I put pillows all around me. I held them like this. And I was like, okay, don't talk to me. I don't want to talk. I don't want to talk. Don't come near me. Don't go over there. Don't breathe on me. And I was just <laughs> petrified. And then after a couple of days, my body loosened up a little bit. I'm actually getting really good now. He's, he's, he's gotten so much better and so much more comfortable. He still hasn't walked up the stairs with him yet. I won't walk up the stairs. <laughs> <laughs> but he's, he's like, he's changing diapers and he's, you know, because he was really scared at first with the umbilical cord and everything. Like, you know, yeah. I yeah. was like, it's okay. I got it. And my mom was here for two weeks to help us out. That was amazing as well. But now we're literally on our own. So <laughs> it's all good so far. Good. I mean, what? what? Yeah, we went the kind of we went the no help route. So we just kind of wanted to do this all ourselves, you know, to see if we can do it. Um, a lot of our friends got help and stuff like that. And we were kind of going back and forth with it. And we we're like, well, you know, there's not much we can do outside, anyways. It's not like we're working full time, so there's really no reason for it. Yeah. So we decided to do it this way, just to learn. We want to learn it all, and be around for it all. Good for you guys. It's it's no small task. I mean, Brittany, what has your breastfeeding journey been like so far? I know for me. It was one of the most emotional experiences I ever went through because I never, nobody prepared me for how hard it was going to be. Yeah. And I almost felt like it was harder than labor at times. I mean, but how was it for you? It's definitely hard. It's like a round the clock job, but that's yeah. for sure. Like mm -hmm. if you're not feeding, you're pumping. I mean, you have to wear pads 24 mm -hmm. seven, you're roll. I mean, there's just so much that goes into it, but it was kind of hard in the beginning before my milk came in. Cause I just could not tell how, if he, what he was getting. I know he only needed like a small amount, but even now, like sometimes I get so worried he's not like fully satisfied. And I, cause I can't see how much is going into him. And it like freaks me out a little bit. Like I know, like I love the bonding experience and stuff, but Sometimes like pumping and putting it into a bottle where I can physically see how much he's getting. Like, I feel like he gets more satisfied like that sometimes. Mm -hmm. So I'm just trying to figure out like, what's going to be best for him. Yeah. Because right now it's so super scary to think he might not be getting enough when he's just on my breast. Mm -hmm. But I'm sure he probably is. It's just something that's in my head and it like, it kind of freaks me out a little bit. Yeah, we do the vital doctor's appointments. He's on weight and everything, so everything is good. Yeah, everything's good. So once once we figured out his weight and everything was going up, I was like, okay. Definitely. But it, it just freaks you out because, I mean, you're the life source. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, oh my gosh, please, please, please be getting enough. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure he is. I know it is a stressful, stressful time. I mean, you, yeah. you know, and so many moms, obviously in the fourth trimester, you know, you're still in diapers, you're losing your hair. Is there anything that's surprising that has happened to you postpartum? Just like, I hate to say it, but like how much you bleed and stuff after. Like I was, I, I had Saucy and Lala, thank God, to like tell me like right away. Cause we, we went through this right, you know, back to back. So mm -hmm. it was super fresh in everybody's mind. I made sure to tell Sheena everything I knew cause she was right after me. <laughs> so, I mean, just like how long, I mean, still the top half, I'm wearing this oversized flannel for breastfeeding. The bottom half, I still have on disposable diaper and <laughs> pads. So. <laughs> I will not be standing up during this, but oh, it was classic. It was like one of the days that she had two of those things. What do they call it? Hawkins. She had two hawkins on. She had a diaper on. There was a dog treat stuck to her butt, and it was just—it was the hottest thing I've ever seen. I love yeah, it. Yeah, I was I like, like she just walk around. She's just like, I'm too hot for clothes. I don't need clothes. Yeah, wearing just... this flannel right now, like I normally would not. I'd just be wearing a. Um, Nursing bra on sweatpants, if I'm wearing the sweatpants. She just like, she kind of, we just kind of gave up on it. We're just like, I don't care. <laughs> I don't I don't blame you. I mean, you, you, the both of you just look so, so happy. I mean, Jax, how has this brought you and Brittany closer together? Oh, I mean, it's, we were already super close as it is, but I mean, just kind of just, the fact that we just made this beautiful child and like, we're responsible for this human being, like, you know, his upbringing and everything. And we're always bouncing things off each other. We're doing the right things. and. How is he doing? It's just, it's just a magic, it's been magical. Yeah. yeah, but it's definitely obviously brought more love into the house. Yeah. Um, 
but yeah, it's just been amazing. You know, no, no crazy bumps, no like, we haven't had any, like I said, knock on wood. I mean, it's only been <laughs> almost a month, but no craziness and unexpectedness so far, right? Nothing, nothing too bad. Nothing Good. Too bad.